Are you ready for a story? This is the story of Bree and Luke, a hummingbird and a polar bear. Two friends who met in some strange circumstances. One day, Luke woke up on a piece of ice. He was all alone as he had left his family for the first time. Before he left, his parents had said, the ice we live on is changing, Luke, all because of climate change. The seas are warmer and the ice is melting. You must be careful. Suddenly, Luke's memory was interrupted by a strange little bird. Get away from my ears. What are you? He exclaimed. The little bird apologized. She explained that she was a hummingbird, her name was Bree, and she was lost. I fly north every year, but this time I couldn't find my special tree. She began to cry. Luke comforted Bree and they began to share stories about their families. Bree explained how she flew south to meet her family once a year. But with the changes on the planet, she had to change her flying path at times. She had to adapt. Luke thought this little bird was amazing, brave and strong. She could teach him how to adapt to his new life alone. Maybe she could stay with him. Bree was happy Luke wanted her to stay, but she had an even better idea. She invited him to visit her home in the Caribbean. How wonderful, Luke thought. So they put their heads together and came up with a clever way to get this big bear all the way to the Caribbean. While Bree flew ahead to tell her friends about their coming visitor, Luke saw many new places and things he had never seen before. Finally, the boat arrived in the Caribbean. Bree's friends gave Luke a great welcome. Each one was so interesting. Saba the green monkey, Kerry the hawksbill turtle, Tila the flyfish, Manny the mongoose, and Cedar the mosquito. Oh, and we can't forget Keisha and Richard. Boy, what a great adventure. The Caribbean was hot, not at all like Luke's icy home. Why do polar bears need ice? Bree asked Luke. Luke said that polar bears needed the ice to live on and fish for food. But sadly, climate change was affecting his home. Keisha and Richard understood and shared about how climate change made hurricanes stronger. We have to do many things to prepare, Richard said. Keisha agreed and shared that some of her friends and family had also lost their homes and schools to hurricanes. Then the animals wanted to share their stories of adaptation. As seas get warmer, they change direction. My family now has to find new areas to swim in, Tita spoke up. My family has seen changes too. Kerry said sadly. The land also is hotter. We lay our eggs in the sand, but if the sand gets too hot, it's not good for baby turtles. Hotter temperatures also affect humans, making some people sick and affecting crops needed for food. Wow! The impacts affect both humans and animals. What can we do to make the world a better place for everyone? Keisha pondered. Well, Richard said, we all must adapt by using less water, conserving electricity, and recycling, just to name a few. Everyone agreed and talked about making more changes to help reduce impacts to the environment. This is called mitigation. Sadly, it was time for Luke to go. He missed his winter cold. Luke thanked everyone for their friendship and though he was sad to go, he looked forward to sharing all he had learned with his family. Waving goodbye, the group thought of their time with Luke. They all realized how important they were and promised to do all they could to help their planet and their neighbors.